tell us about your real ice experience, Clary. Our real ice experience, it's, uh, it was brand new to me. I had no idea. I ran the old A-frame barn building that was built in the 50s for 20, 20 plus years. And I was always, hot water is the only way to go to make good ice. And, uh, and then I was, I came here, I was presented with this and I had no option for hot water tanks or anything else or, but we're finding that it's uh, with the real ice, I'm finding lots, lots of differences compared to what we had before. And like uh, I heard before my power went out that uh, people were cleaning calcium out of their bins and like we're going through, there's hardly any maintenance to the machine for the cleaning part, the towels. Um, when we lay the logos and stuff, it's, there's, we didn't experiment there. We used just regular water that didn't go through the real ice and our logos were all bubbly. And so we did half and half just to, we kind of just had to prove to ourselves that it works. We don't know how it works, but it works great. Um, I mean, we have phenomenal ice with no dehumidifier. We have a building that's 16.2 degrees to raise the moisture to suck it out. So the building's hot and the ice is hard. Are you, you guys following our rules? We follow the rules pretty, pretty good. I mean, I, I started out with like a brand new crew of people. And uh, so we laid it out and it's easy to start from the start when no one, no one has an old routine of what they used to do. So we've been following pretty good to a T. I mean, uh, um, the very first year before we got the real ice, I put ice in without paint and lines and stuff. And uh, I had to run it at oh, 16. And that was just with our regular regular town water. That's 16 Fahrenheit. So that was just with our regular town water. And now with real ice where, where we basically run tournaments at about 21, 22. And uh, yeah, like this weekend, we had it run at 20 for most of the day. We had uh, games starting at four in the morning and then our senior men finished at 12:30 that night. So yes, that's that temperature. The, um, what we'll do at the end of the night is we'll we'll crank, we'll actually crank the heat up to get the moisture from all the people out. Otherwise, we'll start dripping. If you look really closely in the background picture, you can see where it drips off the rafters by rafters by the blue line. That's if we forget to crank the heat up and suck the moisture out. <laughs> we come in and then there's nice drips on the ice and. Yeah, the puck is a lot less sticky with real ice water. That's something that all of our senior guys noticed right away. They were asking what we were doing. Uh, some of the refs even asked if we sprayed the pucks with something because when they <laughs> drop the puck, there's no ice on it. So that was something that was noticed like right away. Yeah. I didn't have an answer for them, but I just said uh, pucks are in the freezer till game time and they're good to go.